Okay guys, Matt Rhodes here, and thanks to Core Sports, we've got the very last interview. So my first question for John is, was he happy with the rule meeting, and what is his biggest concern of what Devon might do to exploit the rules? Okay, so the first question was, uh, was I happy with the rule, rules meeting? Um, I expected it, I, I knew what to expect. We had discussed all the rules weeks beforehand on the internet, so, um, I knew what to expect, uh, nothing changed, um, and I was good with it already, so I, everything was fine. I, I knew what to expect. Do you think Devin will exploit the rules? Um, he's not gonna exploit the rules, but I think the rules favor him a little bit. Um, if I get close, um, in the past I've been able to pin him without the straps. Um, it, it's easy to manipulate the hand and wrist a little bit more without the straps than with the straps, so. I think it does benefit his strengths a little bit more than mine. No, you can't, you can't go there. Oh, I'm so sorry. But <laughs> I'm sorry. I think it does benefit his strengths. You need him to do that again. You need him to do it again, I'm sorry. <laughs> it's okay, you could have, like, I, if we didn't say anything, we could have just rolled through that. Okay. <laughs> it was all right. I don't think Devin's exploiting the rules. I think the rules um, benefit his style, his strengths a little bit more than mine. The straps uh, tie the hands together a little bit stronger <laughs> than just without the straps. I don't think they're exploitable. Um, I think they do favor his style. I think uh, my strengths are, has always been my hand and being able to manipulate the hand and wrist and top row fully, which I don't believe is possible in the straps. The straps um, give a little bit more bite to the guy that wants to control and, and make it a, a, an arm power game. So um, yeah, it's going to be a little tougher road for me going right to the straps, but um, I'm going to have to deal with it. And my next question for John was, does he really believe he has the same amount of endurance as Devon? And does he think Devon might resort to the King's move? Um, I hope that he uses the King's move. If he uses the King's move, that means I'm doing really well. That means I got the offensive position off the start. Um, and I'm prepared to deal with the King's move. Uh, so yeah, no, I hope he does use the King's move. That'll be good for me. Um, Second part of that, or first part of that question? Endurance. All oh, my endurance. Yeah, sadly enough, my endurance isn't probably quite what Devin's is. Um, but I'm strong in a lot of different areas, so I'm going to be able to, I think, hopefully switch gears. I'm not going to go numb doing one move. So I'll try to change it up a little bit and equalize that endurance game if I have to. All right, that's great. First question for Devin. Is there any chance that he's underestimated John with not much training time and lower body weight? So, yes, there is a chance I have underestimated John. I think it's a very small, very small chance. I think uh, when the match first kind of got proposed to me, uh, right away I thought, I'm going to destroy him. Uh, I realized this is a very unhealthy place to be mentally for a big match so I, I really dug deep and I really remembered and thought about who John Brzezink was and why he's doing it what his motivation was so uh, so yeah there is a chance I've underestimated the greatest of all time John Brzezink um, but uh, I, I, I believe at this point in my career that I'm just a little bit out of reach for him uh, does Devon think that he was just going to overpower John, or does he believe he's going to win this match on superior endurance? Second part of the question, um, I believe that there is probably a 50% chance that I might have too much power for him right out of the gates. Uh, I, I'm not sure. Maybe it's a bit lower than that. Maybe it's about 25%. 25 to 50% of me believes that I will have the hand strength advantage right out of the blocks. And if that happens, it will be a terrible, terrible day for John. Um, most likely scenario is that he has the slight hand advantage or that it's very close, in which case... Yeah, my strategy will absolutely be to bleed him out. And even if I do have the hand advantage, my most likely course of action will be to bleed him out throughout the entire series anyways. 
Uh, and he knows this. This is no secret. This is no tactic that has to be held. Everybody knows this is how I arm wrestle. Um, judging by what I've seen just in gripping up with them left-handed, uh, the power difference between his arms would have to be monumentally different uh, because left-handed, we are not close. So I expect to slaughter John in his return tomorrow. So there you have it, guys. That's the very last questions these guys are all going to be answering before the match tomorrow. Go to coresports.world to watch the pay-per-view. That's the only place you can watch it. Let me know in the comments who you think is going to win. Thanks for watching, guys, and I'll be back very soon with another video. I just wanted to get back to the East versus West uh, question earlier. Um, Devin will be a part of that, right? Because he doesn't pull any Easterners. That's a good, that's a good one, John. It's funny. I've never heard that one before. It's very, very, very original and creative. Door to me speaks well, that's volumes. Be that's because you hid behind arm wars. I hid behind nothing. I pulled across multiple leagues at all throughout my career. John, I'm glad we're here today. I'm glad you called out me. I'm glad you're in your best shape ever. I'm glad you're your heaviest ever. Uh, I'm glad that I get to destroy you, and hopefully you get to remember this. Well, of course not. He hasn't arm wrestled any of the top five guys on, on the planet yet, uh, right-handed. So, I mean, how could you rank him top Hey, John, five? Were, you, were you top five when I fucking murdered you? <laughs> or no, you were we probably like... that situation. I was, I was 200. No, you were injured. I was 209 you were injured, pounds. right? I was, I was not even a heavyweight. No, you were a weakling. Yeah, I remember. That was a long time ago. That's uh, uh, a... <laughs>